Friends, thank you so much for tuning in to today's book talk. Before we get started, let me know down in the comments below, what book are you reading? I'm trying to add to my to read pile. All right, let's get into the book talk. You ready? Let's go. Today we are talking about the 2017 middle grade fiction title, Restart by Gordon Corman. And this was a recommendation that came directly from my students because my students loved this book. It started with one student reading it and then she handed it to another student who devoured it over the weekend, who book talked it, and then another student read it and then another student read it and it just spread like wildfire. And I wanted to read it, but of course, since we only had one copy, I wanted to let it kind of bounce around the room and I would wait my turn patiently. And then I had to wait until the summer to read it and I'm so glad that I did. So many of our book choices need to be driven by the students that we teach. And I am so thankful that I read this book. It will be one of the first books that I book talk in the fall because I think my students are going to love it. I know a lot of teachers have read it aloud and, and I'm thinking that it might be, uh, it might make a really good read aloud. I'm not sure. Anyways, Restart is the story of Chase. Chase is the school bully and he is like one of the worst bullies I've seen in a book. But the interesting thing is the beginning of the book starts with him falling off the roof of his house and he suffers from amnesia and he remembers nothing of his old life nothing except for like this one girl like this one girl he has this memory of this one girl and you kind of spend the whole book trying to figure out but anyways he remembers nothing and uh he gets like a fresh start and he gets to like decide who he wants to be like he kind of hears that he was a jerk but he's not really sure his parents aren't like really coming completely forward with that uh so he gets to school and like people are kind of scared of him and he's so confused his four-year-old stepsister is terrified of him and so sad. And he ends up joining the video club and the football players are not happy at all. His dad was this big, huge state champion football player at his school. And now he is a state champion at his football school, but he doesn't remember playing football. And his doctor won't let him play football because of the concussion. And I just love watching Chase get a fresh start. And I love seeing how kids who were bullied and tormented by Chase, uh, at first they don't trust him, but they start to like wonder, like, is he really different? Has he changed? He seems like a pretty cool kid. Can I become friends with this person who once tormented me? And I think it's a really, really great book about second chances. I think it's a really amazing book to think about starting over and writing a new story for your life. I think the conversations around this book could be really, really powerful. And I think that's probably what makes it such a great read aloud. I think kids are really gonna think a lot and think hard when reading this book. It's told from multiple perspectives. It's told, most of it I would say is told from Chase, but it's also told from some of the people that he was bullied. It's also told from the perspective of his football player friends. And I think like all of these different points of view make this a really powerful, a really wonderful, a really important book. So if you're looking for a great book, uh, Restart might be one that you want to read. I know it came out in 2017 and I usually only talk about newer books here, but I'm trying to make sure that I focus my reading on what is best for my students and not always like what is fun and exciting and new and shiny. So Restart, I'm so glad that I read it. It was amazing, phenomenal, five stars. I will put the uh, put some links down below if you want to pre-order. Pre -order. It's been out for over, it's been out since last year. If you want to order it, I'll have the links down below. Uh, the book that I'm currently reading is uh, a book that comes out. Here I'm saying like read books that are already been written. Don't miss any new, any books that maybe you missed in the past. And now I'm going to talk about reading a uh, book that doesn't come out for like five months. But I'm reading Hey Kiddo by Jared J. Krasowska, his memoir. This book is a uh, graphic novel uh, for ages 14 and up, as that's what it says here in the back. I read the first 80 pages last night. Oh my gosh, it's so fascinating. I know Jared, a uh, good friend, uh, but it's really interesting to, and you kind of have heard his story, but to actually see it through a memoir is, uh, it's really powerful. So restart is phenomenal. Hello kitty, kiddo, hello kitty. <laughs> All right, obviously I need to end this video. Have a wonderful day and happy, happy reading.